Yeah. Like Girl Scouts. Yeah. Girl Scouts. Okay. All set. Are we recording now? We are. All right. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to open up the right link. I can join the meeting. Oh, let me take my minutes. No. All right. Sorry, folks, for getting a late start okay. today. Although I guess we're not live, we're just recording. So right. you guys don't know that we're late. Right. Mm -hmm. A few minutes late. We're going to get going today. Um, oops, let me follow up this because I feel like I'm going to have some. Yeah, do you mind? Mm -hmm. I just need to grab this stuff out of my email. I'm going to pull up the um, uh, agenda, that thing we used to guide us. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, shoot. Wait, this is not. All right. We're going to skip the check in because I don't think there's anything checking about. Um, there's no one here for public comment. There's no one online, it looks like, for public comment. So we're going to keep going. Update on facilities naming. Uh, radio silence uh, from Don. I may have irritated him with my last email. So I will reach out to Kim and see where we are with that. Don. I have a, um, oh, you're taking second school calendar. Awesome. Diane, who actually does have her stuff together for today. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is the draft um for next year's school calendar. And so um there really aren't any significant changes. Um, from this year's calendar, if you take a look at it, you'll see that we still, um, you know, we maintain the start of school in the same way that we've done for the past mm -hmm. couple of years. We've gotten some really great feedback um, from staff, especially about having that time at the start of the year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it also includes just, you know, the our uh, regular monthly early release times. Um, one thing that I did want to just draw your attention to as it relates to the close of the year, if we look at the month of June on the draft. So if we were to have no snow days, um, this draft would have us ending school on June 11th. Um, if we were to only use traditional snow days, that five build in, again, it's it's kind of a just a placeholder, right, mm -hmm. um, would bring us to the 18th. If you chose to do as we've done this year mm -hmm. and kind of do a hybrid approach, we could say that, you know, um, the hard stop would be on June 13th if mm -hmm. we wanted to have two traditional snow days. Um, if we want more than two traditional snow days, then we would be going into the following week. Um, and so I think, you know, that is a decision point yeah. um, for the board. And then the other piece that I would just call your attention to as it relates to June is we typically um, would have our board meetings on the first and third uh, Thursdays of the month. And the third Thursday of June happens to be Juneteenth, um, mm -hmm. which is a holiday. And so I don't know uh, what you want to do about that. Um, in terms of, you know, dates, um, you know, sometimes in the last week of June, typically people might be trying to use vacation time that they haven't expended. But I mean, it, if we're only talking about the superintendent, the assistant superintendent, I just don't think it's a major thing. Well, maybe we can move up to the 12th, maybe just do two weeks back to back. Yeah. And we do have two weeks um currently back to back in February March right like we always kind of find ourselves in that difficult mm. position as it relates to the school vacations yeah and this proposal does keep us in line with our regional partners as you're aware we need to make sure that um for the purposes of uh regional vocational um uh, CTE programming that our calendars are within five school days. And so as 
as I've done every year, we meet together. Um, and I think this has us uh, within four days. Perfect. So um, have we gotten any feedback about the end of school year slash hybrid? I know that we're right up. We've had one snow day, so we have two reserve days at this point. We have three. In this year's calendar, we have room for three mm -hmm. traditional yeah. snow days. And we've only used one. And we've only used one, yeah. right, to our hard stop date that we said that we would end school at. Yeah. So, um, you know, I don't think that we've gotten any feedback for or against around yeah. the one snow day that we've had. I mean, I think that... I am sure that the community, there may be some members of the community that are frustrated that we've had to have a couple of late starts. I'm sure. Um, you know, but but those are weather related yeah. and we have to make decisions based yeah. on safety. Yeah. Um, but, you know, knock on wood, we'll probably have like five storms um, after we finish this conversation. 100%. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. But we have not been experiencing those typical main winters, um, you know, yeah. Yeah. as we had in the past as of late. And is there, has there been any feedback from the teachers on the preference for keeping hybrid, the, the hybrid approach so that they have that hard stop? Do they feel? I don't think that there has been weigh in because um, last year they, we didn't have to implement it. Right. right. And so last year we had a hybrid like this and we never got to that number. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there was no feedback because there was no effect. Right. Right. And and that's kind of where we are right now on February 5th. Yeah. So. But they've all done the hybrid packets anyway because they were always. Yes. Yeah. So at products. the elementary Perhaps. level, like yeah. they already sent yeah. them home. Yeah. Right. And I know, you know, middle school and high school had their plans mm -hmm. ready in place. Right. Because as we've talked as a leadership team, we recognize that, you know, it it could come all at once. Yeah. Right, like it yeah. only takes like yeah. one whopper storm, yeah. and then everything Two or three days you know down. changes considerably. So, all of our schools are in a position to press play on those remote plans if they needed to. Um, but the reality is, we haven't needed to for the last two years to date. Yeah, I like having a hard stop. I do too. I really just think for planning purposes, it just keeps things. People know what they know. It's not as much of a gamble. You're gambling with the 12th and the 13th instead of the 12th, 13th, 16th, 17th, 18th. Right. Because, I mean, you could get a whole week at camp that next week if you, that was, you were interested in that or child for that week. Right. Well, that's always the hard part, right, is, you know, I, I always think of it from two perspectives. The first is that when we initially floated this idea, the teachers were very supportive. This was yeah. the year yeah. before you joined. Yeah. And they were very supportive because it allowed them to plan specifically for a last day. Yep. Right. And so since then, of course, to Diane's point, we haven't had to use it. So. Mm -hmm. I imagine their support is still there because it's, they don't know any, you know, there's nothing to compare it to, right? So at this point, I imagine they still support it. But the other piece is, is when you start moving into, a, and I didn't think about this until last year, actually, because my child is out of childcare age. When you start moving into half weeks, you're, what you're, what's happening is we have parents that are signing up for camps in childcare, like now. Well, last week right. my kid went to went to school one day, went to camp the next day, went back to school for a half day on Wednesday. Because yeah. last year we didn't do the, the year before we didn't do the hybrid. Right. Yeah. We had the rolling, and that irritated the living bejesus out of everyone in my household yeah. because. Well, and you're paying for days you're not you're using. Days, it's all over the place. It was like we know you had fun at camp yesterday, sweetie, but you're going back to school for your last okay. day. School comes before camp at my house. Right. And um, you know, and I think it just takes it off the table yeah like it just it's just, just it's just off the table you know you're gonna need child care that week if you if that's what you need and if you don't yeah. you know you can make your plans everyone okay, can make like, plans I, i'm a planner i buy it towards being up the plan right yeah so yeah you know i would yeah. be in favor of that we'll see what the rest of the yeah. board says but yeah so when we um bring this what i would like us to do this time that we didn't do i don't think we did this last year um when we bring the calendar draft forward like let's also it sounds like we're in favor here of the the hybrid approach. So bring both forward at the so, same time. So yes. do you want yeah. the draft that we present to reflect that uh, like instead of the language here that's written like 618 last student teacher yeah, day with five off. traditional, we'll remove that and we'll write 613 last mm -hmm. student teacher day with two traditional storm days used and the you know, remainder of any storm days would be remote. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. That's what yes. I thought. Okay. Yeah. 
I mean, completely remove the 618. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And then move our, why don't we move our beans at the 12? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that way we'll just take it off the table so okay. we can have a real vacation. Yeah. yeah. And then do you want to move <laughs> yeah, a, full, okay. a full vacation day? And you moved the February meeting already. So that's good. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So then, yeah, we just moved the June one to the 12. Yeah. Great. Okay. Other than that, and again, obviously, like it's, you know, we will make sure that it fits on one page. You know, I said to Cheryl, I didn't want her to worry about that content as, as long as, you know, because we were just really looking at, you know, what is the information that's included and we can pretty it up and make sure that it's nice and neat before the meeting next week. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Great. All right. So uh, we got zero comments on BEBB and BEBB R. So I'm saying, but I love how they were crafted. Um, so, is there any. Am I on the wrong agenda? I think I quit. Why not? <laughs> oh, no. I changed the agenda and it didn't get published. I did because it was, it's, it's, um, these are these are moot. Yeah, because we already these, said that. Yeah, we're down here. So yeah. I just deleted those. Sorry. Got it. So from the agenda that's published, we deleted the ones that are no longer at second reading because we approved them are now off the agenda. We're not going to discuss them. Yeah. That leaves B E D B and B E D B R as the only ones that are left for second reading. But again, there was no comment from the board, no comment from the public. Um I don't really have anything else to say. Yeah. Okay. So so we'll move it to second reading on um, the 15th. Yeah. All right. There was something about R though that I brought up. Let me refresh my memory. I didn't, oh, hold on. I have notes. Thank you. Because I, I, I did not notes. I did not take notes. Oh, I, took, I took very detailed notes. I just have to find them, which is the challenge. Just see if I can get them. Board box training. Oh, about the general public comment. Oh, I already changed it in our draft. Oh, okay. I edited it in the draft. That's why I deleted it. So I have my notes of things to do that I did it. So if you go to, let me pull it up. If we go to, um, where's my BEDB agenda format that's right this is the main one this is see this is called bedbr it shouldn't it should be bedb this is bedb this is not bedbr um so this title should be bedb there we go all right i'm deleting that now or i'm getting, getting out of that so then because they were titled opposite of each other here we go so if you go to it's called agenda formatted after first reading because I made a new one. I didn't touch any of the little drafts that we were working on. I made a whole new, new copy. Mm -hmm. And I green lined or red lined it, although it's green in my screen. Mm -hmm. So we can see what I did. It's in the folder, the B folder. Um, I don't know. I'm going to share it with you right now because it's easier. Because yeah. I just want to make sure we, everyone has a composition. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I just sent it. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So it's called BEDB dash agenda formatted after first reading, but it should say R in there. I'm going to choose title. So I think it's clear. So this is BEDB dash R. It's called agenda format. The other document for reference is just called agenda. There. Do you want me to share it? Like share screen? Sure. Do we um here we go. I think it this is not something I'm going to, you know, live and die on, but it does I don't think we need to move it. I think it can stay up above the superintendent's report. It's just the wording. Did we say we needed to move it? 
Um, I moved it because, yes, the reason we needed to move is because we didn't want to, in theory, the way the agenda reads, it should have general comment throughout. And um, and it didn't allow for comment on um, the items raised in the committee reports, the item raised in the chair report, or the items raised in the superintendent mm -hmm. report. Because technically, the Leanne wrote this, or raised this, is that technically, if you're like, like, let's say you gave a building update and buildings, nothing on the building is on our continuing new or new business. There would be no place to comment on that, but it could be oh, general comment, gotcha. but it's still kind of on the agenda. And because people don't know what's in your reports, they aren't going to know if it's the agenda or not, um, which is a true. Yeah. That, yeah. So we would, we put yep. it after that. So general whole comment could be on, you can comment on anything. Um, and we would ask people to reserve comment on items that are under continuing business or new business to the point at which they're raised right but this is for comment on anything else right so in, anything in any of the reports or anything else that's on anybody's mind following yes. the rules of the three minutes and um and Perfect. so i just said general public comment the period this period of comment would be reserved for any topic not in continuing their new business and would be consistent with scarborough school board education meeting norms which are below i don't know if you want to asterisk it or not and then continuing business new business announcements uh, executive session and adjournment and at the bottom Public comment period will be opened up prior to each item under continuing or new business, provided that public comment is consistent with the Scarborough Public School Board of Education meeting norms as follows. Each citizen is limited to one presentation per citizen for a topic of not more than three minutes. Audience participation shall cease when the chair calls for the board action and Robert Rose orders govern the procedures of all board meetings. Yeah, and it's a public comment period will be open with general public, general comment and under continuing a new business, right? Because we're going to open it multiple times. We're multiple times. It. Yeah. So right there. So public comp period will be opened up prior to each. So say that again. Um, During general public comment and prior to each up. item. Right there, yeah. During general public comment and prior to each item. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. And should I put it listed below? Yeah. Listed. Just to be clear. So that those are the changes. I tried to highlight the changes. They were coming up green at first, which is why I highlighted them too. Mm -hmm. um, but that oh, yeah. I wanted to be able to clear on what I what I was adding. So and then okay. now it's green. So that's it. All right. So okay. that would be consistent with the changes that were discussed. I think everyone is in agreement on them. Mm -hmm. Um and I will send this out and out and uh, the I'm gonna send out the amended um should I send them out like line like this or should I send them out just a clean copy of it? Um if you send that over to Cheryl like that um she actually posts both she posts the draft and then the clean because it's hard to read right now. <laughs> it's just like, that's funny. It's hard to read. Yeah. All right, cool. I will do that. Great. All right, so the B policies, there are some problems in B, which is yes. why we're doing this, so discover these problems. Um, let's get a clear understanding of what our next steps are. For, are, there, for, are there any that we have to go over? Because there were two red, red B policies, which but I think that's maybe where some of the issues come in which are the student school board representation guidelines and then organization of the board. But, but Diane, you emailed, I think, saying that our number, our letters are off. Yes. Yeah, so, and again, I linked that in to today's agenda. Yeah. So if you take a look again, like the naming of all of the policies, right? Like there is a nomenclature that, um, you know, that that the state uses. And so, you know, Letter B is all about governance, right? Mm -hmm. And so all of these fall under that. But interestingly, as I was reviewing, you know, this list um, against the MSMA model policies today, just, I mean, I know that we have our audit and that was done. And, and so we felt pretty confident about that. But I, you know, just as a, another step went back and looked at those today, the BBAB policy at the state level that nomenclature um, is related to school board self-evaluation. It's a completely different mm -hmm. topic than the way we're using BBAB. 
which is for student school board representation. And so I just wanted to bring that up. As I said to Shannon, I don't think it's a major thing as it relates to like our own policies here in Scarborough, because, you know, um, we could decide if school board self-evaluation should go somewhere. There are very few B policies um, that are required by law. There are very few policies that are required by law, yeah. right? So um, this is not one of them, um, but I am just raising that as a question in terms of practice. And I think that is why they were in red on our audit because they are different. Those are Scarborough, like Scarboroughized Exclusive. use of the letter, the letter, the letter naming. Yeah, because I think it's good to. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, no, you go ahead. No, so I think it's good to have a self evaluation policy. I agree with you, but I also think we should keep our letters as congruent with the state as possible. Yeah, and we can add, we can make them different letters. That are well, we would make the the, the school. Yeah. The so student the question would be: Do we just rename the student, mm -hmm. um, you know, policies if if you feel like those are important to maintain, um, and you know let's just, you know, is there a different naming mechanism for, for that particular policy? Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be a good idea. I think we should have a self, I think yeah. self evaluate. I mean, like if, if we want to keep that policy, which I think we would want. Mm -hmm. that policy. Yeah. Because we're doing it. I think it's good to have. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we actually referenced BBAB-R in our finance committee meeting last month. So I, I, I would like to keep this policy, but I would like to re yeah. name them so yeah. that they're more congruent. Yeah. With, everything else and then the only other policy that i linked in from that list is um policy bia which is new board member orientation okay. there was an update to that in okay. 2022 um so we don't need to do that. that the you know a, an updated model mm -hmm. um versus our policy bia which was last revised in 2002 so um i I linked in the model policy because it seems like it. I I cross walked them and they are significantly different. Okay, so we'll yeah, maybe we'll start there. Them. Yeah, and then I noticed when I started down the list, BBBA is ours is called organization of the board, and the model is called board member qualifications. So that's another one, BBBA. That's the other one I found. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we. But I, you I know, I think it's probably when you through them and then yeah. see what yeah. if, you know. And we might, we may recommend that we get rid of some. Like I'm not opposed to pruning unnecessary yeah. or or, or um, obsolete right. policies. So right. I think that's a good use of time yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, I was looking at the school board agenda. Do we have, did we already go through? Like lost. Here we go. All right, so we approved BBA. So that should be off our list. Sorry, I got hung up on that because I was like, I think we just did that. I want mm -hmm. to confirm. Before. Yes, mm -hmm. we did BBA. All right, so can we just, I'm just I'm straight through that. Yeah. Like we, we I did. think we're down to the uh, BBAB, the, the student one. What about BBAA? Did we do that too? I don't think we did that one. Oh, I don't no. think we did that no. one. No, that's, no. The BBA is the one that I was like, about. we did that one. So, mm -hmm. so I think we're there. A -A -A. Yes. Um, do we want to start looking at those or do we want to call it now? We're at 430, so we opened 20 minutes ago. I'm not sure what time frame. Um, I'm fine with either way. You want to do it. All right, well, let's just take a look um, at that one and see if we can yeah. knock one off and then I can feel like we've accomplished something. Yeah, and it's <laughs> sure, like we can maybe go with right. a yeah. couple, but I was trying yeah. to, um, yeah. BBBA. So BBAA. BB. A and this is one a. where there's no model. Right. right. All right, good. So I'm just, I'm going to go B restate obvious because I'm not slowing myself Wait a minute, BBAA does B have a model. BBAA. Yeah. Wait, let me At go. least in our folder, it does. Yeah, it may just be that it's not, it was not significantly different. Like I only called out the ones right, um, that. So can you pull up the model? Yeah, this is helpful for me. Yeah. All right. So they're both called Board of Education Member Authority. This just says and, and responsibilities. responsibilities. Yeah. All right. Um, does it have responsibilities in here? All right. So it says members. So the model policy. 
Members of the board have authority only when acting as a board legally in session. The board shall not be bound in any way by any action or statement of any part of an individual board member except in such statements or action is in the pers pursuance of specific instructions from the board. That is a direct law. That's a statement of the mm -hmm. law. Like yeah. that's, and ours right now from 2002, adopted in 71 to start. Yeah. Uh, before some of us were here. Members, or we were very young. Members of the Board of Education have authority only when acting as a board. The board will not be bound in any way by any action or statement of any part of any board member, except with a statement or action is pursuant to specific instructions from the Board of Education. Yeah, so this one, I like think this is the big one, right? So you legally only have authority when you're acting legally in session. So yeah. like, you know how we sometimes talk about those periods of time when we're all together, but it's not a meeting, like we're socially together. Like yeah, that yeah. does not count as a meeting. No. And so this, I feel like is, is more specific. Yeah, this is better. This new one. And then the part that's lacking, or the second part of this, our, our, our old or our, our current policy, is that no more board member by virtue of his or office of any administrative responsibility with respect to the schools or as an individual command the services of any school. Oh, well, I do like having that in there. <clears throat> what if you have a babysitter who works for the school? I don't. No board way. member by virtue of his or her office will exercise any administrative responsibility with, with respect, respect to the schools, schools or or as an individual command the services of any school employee. Or as an individual. Oh, well, this gets back to that. What if we had him watch the house? conversation we yes, had in it's the past. like the staff conduct with students policy yes. yeah 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 i i think we should adopt the model and get rid of that um but because, what about the um because the first part of that sentence is like the thirty thousand foot view which i know we've already discussed and maybe it's because it's already in another policy it's in another policy so we can probably get rid of it so let's confirm that it. but i'm positive it's in the staff a, i'm policy positive with students positive. i don't know it's in a yeah. No, no, this first one, the 30,000 yeah. foot view, it's one that we just did. You mean the no board member by virtue of his or office will exercise any administrative responsibility yes. that gets with the school? Right, because it's not our job. It's Jeff's and it's Jeff and Diane. Oh, go back. It's BBA. Yes. It's, it's BBA. Yes. So BBA, let me go back. I just had it open. Older. I like how I get my own little policy folder. Yeah. So yeah, BBA. So this yeah, right here, the administrative details. See it? It's in that yeah. second paragraph. Yes. So we do have it somewhere else. Do we want to say it again? Um, I mean, is this is the board shall concern itself apparently with broad questions of policy rather than administrative details, mm -hmm. which is different than any individual board member. This one? No, it's this one actually. No, the old one. Any individual board member will exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the schools. Now, there's a policy, there's a different policy that I'm thinking of that says that as a board member, you cannot, you can't serve. There's a number of things you can't do. You can't, you can't work for the school district. You and your spouse cannot work for the school district. Mm -hmm. And you can't you can't have any any administrative authority over anyone else. Like you in theory could be a coach. You can't it's direct this one. anyone. It's B B B A. I knew there was one. B B B A. Right Three here. B's and one yeah. A and one A. Are we going back over that at some point? I think that's on the list. All right. It's like coming up. Can we add? And now I'm getting fancy. okay. This is the one though. It's not to right. like throw fire in it, but this is the one that's the different name. So. <laughs> B, three B's and an A. Three B's and an A. It, and the Here's sample. the MSMA sample is board member qualifications. Our, B, oh. our three B's and an A so to date right. is organization of the board. Good Lord. But that's where that sentence that you're thinking of lives. Okay, hold on. B, 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 A. Not that you can read my mind. It's very helpful. <laughs> my, my mind is, is very mushy at the moment. This is not B, 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 B Yeah, three B's and an A. That's it. Ours right now says the structure and organization of the board will be governed by the town, town charter. <laughs> I, 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 I like simplicity. Yeah. But it's not to be it's not to be understated. That's fabulous. So I don't know if this used to be something um different in MSMA change. Like I, I don't that that's the piece I'm not really understanding with the name change, the, the letter changes, but this is one that's different. Okay. Three B's so and an A. Our three B's and an A just says 
So right now, R3Bs and A is, is, is not a very robust policy. It simply says that will be governed by the town charter. So I think we can adopt that into something else very easily. So the model MSMA policy for I, I think I think what that sentence says can be, go into the yes. the this the B B B A because that's what they're talking about. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah they yeah, just have changed the exactly. name. Exactly. So this is the, the model policy B B B A. All right, hold on. Let's go back. We're taking one step backwards to B B A, right? Yeah, so you were saying we were first looking at two Bs and two As, B B A A. Yeah, and what? And you were you were saying in another policy, <laughs> sorry, in another policy it says talks about the responsibility to not be an employee. That is what is in the B B B A. No member of the board or spouse shall be an employee in any public school within the system. But these are different. So yes. this is saying we can't be employees of the school district. Correct. This is saying that we can't direct employees of the school district, which is slightly, it's a slight change. And my concern is twofold. One of which is, um, or well, actually this says we won't exercise any administrative responsibility within respect to the school. What not was saying whether we get paid or we're volunteering or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, or as an individual command the services of any school employee. And so my, what I'm quibbling with is, I think we keep that. We don't want people individually trying to actually, I can't go with ask Cheryl to draft a memo for me or something else. It's not related directly to her job functioning. Um, but I think that we do need to have room for, I think this needs to be within the school. Like, and like a board member can't as an individual command the services of any school employee, but I think there needs to be a carve out for, my next door neighbor walking my dog on that vacation and giving them 20 bucks for that or something like that because mm -hmm. there is conceived there is some there's some a little bit of overlap with staff members in ways that we don't we don't care about that's not what we're trying to get right. out here right. we're trying to get if i can't go across the street to neighbor who works at school and say now you're going to do this or that or you mm -hmm. you're gonna i i approve your leave or some right. other non-administrative right. function that's yeah. not within the purview of the board that's what we're trying to say here Right. Okay. So I have no board member by virtue of their office will exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the schools. And then we're going to say period. Yes. Okay. And then what is that second sentence going to be? We need that to read. Nor will any individual board member. I don't like command the service. How do we say that in 19? That's like 1950s language, like 2020 language. Mm -hmm. Why don't we look back at our teacher to be yeah. direct? Yeah, I agree. Because that's where that language sits for them. That makes sense. Yeah, what was the name? That was their the G policy. Yeah. G B E B B. Thank you. Lots of these. There are lots of these. Like, so again, I'm like in the sample database, but I think our language was pretty similar. If you look up here, it says the board understands that staff members, so we might say it is understood that board members may interact and have friendships with families of students, right, or with staff, staff members. right, yeah. staff members outside of school. This policy is not intended to prohibit that. I agree. Yeah, I think that's right. Great. That's good language. Yeah. Staff members and their families. And then this is the this. So I think that's so, so members, initial members of schools or school employees. So nor, nor board member by virtue of their office will exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the schools or over any of the staff. Schools or over any, any of the staff. 
Is that is that grand rule? No board member by virtue of their office will exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the school's or authority. Any administrative. Wait, you do, have a, you do have administrative authority, never mind. Like during some of the mm -hmm. processes. Yeah. Do, yeah. Okay, so no board member by virtue of their office will exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the schools or over any of the staff. But is with, with respect to the schools, doesn't that encapsulate the staff? Well, what this is getting at is you can't direct a staff. Member right, it's not your job to manage the yeah, schools we, and the school employees, right? And the because school, you yeah. direct the superintendent right, and he who does, then does the, does the work. work. Yeah. So that sentence grammatically is correct. Maybe school employees sounds better than staff. I think that mm -hmm. school employees sounds better than staff. Mm -hmm. So with respect to the schools or over any school. Should employee. we say with respect to the schools or the staff? Or or any school employee. Or any school. Yeah. Or you said staff, right? I know. I like employee you better. Employee. Yeah, the, I didn't like staff. Oh, you didn't like staff. Yeah. Okay. No board member by virtue of their office will exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the school or any school employee. I think that gets at it. Mm -hmm. I think that was it. Okay. And then it is understood that board members may interact and have friendships with staff members and their families outside of school. This policy is not intended to prohibit such interactions, provided that professional boundaries are maintained at all times. Yeah. But Do you maintain professional boundaries at all times? Absolutely. I tried to because you may just you live in the town and the yeah. staff members live in the town. You may be friends. You may have personal. Well, I was going to professional boundary. Yeah, and I was going to say since we've removed the part about um, the interact whatever that sentence was that we took out completely. Now this doesn't make sense having it in there at all. So take it out. Or Maybe you just take it take out. Take that part off. Yeah. Just lead with the first part, if you want. I don't know why I can look, look it up. It says. Like the board, <laughs> under, it is understood that board members may interact with and have friendships with school. No, she took all of it out. Okay. She just left yeah. it out. Yeah. So yeah. no board member by virtue of their the office needs. will exercise any administrative responsibility with respect to the school or any school employee. Period. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. The BBA looks good. All right. So mm -hmm. let's make a decision about what we're going to do at the next morass and then do it at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yep. All right. So BBA will go to first reading on the 15th. BBAA? BBAA, sorry. Yep. BBAA, <laughs> the one we just did. <laughs> yes. I, I, at some point, we'll get ready. I get into this. <laughs> the, the letters are killing me, but now for that suit, it is a little bit. It is a little bit. Um, so our current, so BBAA, we just did. BBA mm -hmm. is done. BBAD dash R. So BB, BBAA, BB, uh, I can't, I'm done. Oh. The next one in the list. The next one in the list. <laughs> the next one in the list. Um, I, is there a place, does it belong under the B policies? So it's the student school board representation guidelines. It does look to me like a B policy. It's about school governance. Yeah. Um, I guess that's why they made it a dash R, but that doesn't really make sense because an R usually is like an attachment or like in a, like it's usually like a policy. And R is usually the policy. procedure. Yeah. So where is a letter that's free that we could stick it on? I mean, well, maybe we can explore that between now and the next meeting okay. and uh, make a suggestion about what would be a better naming mechanism. Like if that's, you know, if we identify that as a piece of work for the next meeting is to rename the student school board related policies. And we also have to, well, I guess we don't. Never mind. And Excuse then me. to consider The BBAB policy that is around school board self evaluation. Yes. So, what should we rename what the current one is? And then the model. Right. 
to look at B B A B. Right. With with that naming. With yeah. the B B A B naming. Yeah. And then and then the other piece of you know definitely defined work is B I A. Yes. And then also what I would say is what I will look at is hitting the rest of those and just see if they're not right if they're not legally required, do they serve a purpose? When was the last time they were looked at? Right. And then what should we just go through pretty fast? Some of these, I mean, like the email, we should definitely have an email one. Mm -hmm. um, it, most of these look pretty standard. Mm -hmm. um, they were, I've read them at one point, but now they're yeah. all in my head. It's yeah. English. So um, just kind of, again, just refresh anything that's yeah. not been looked at in a while. So that sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Is that everyone good to stop being early today? Yeah. Sure. Nobody minds that. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll go with that. And uh, thanks for attending. Thank you. Thank you.